we designed to stick together. We're not designed to war against each other, beef with each other. We are a loving culture. That's why we so forgiving and we deal with other races and all that. Black people will let you come in their house, sleep and all that. You feel me? We are a loving culture. Not saying every other culture, not. But I'm talking about black people. We are a very forgiving culture, a loving culture, but we hard on ourselves. You feel me? Because for whatever reason, we can't figure out what, what, what you know, what, what the next day gonna bring or whatever's going on, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us don't even know our history. Mm. We don't even know like our family line. You feel me? I don't know my I don't know my dad's dad, bro. Damn. That's fucked up. My 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 kids don't. Man, rest in power. The Khan Espon, man, lost his life recently. Man, he's, uh, you know, bringing up the peace treaty back in the day and, you know, how people came together, how the neighborhoods and the uh, A trade came together, man, after Nipsey, you know, situation. And then he's going to break down, you know, what it's going to take out here in L.A. You know, we see, you know, some uh, pushing peace happening out in Chicago. I mean, we don't know what's what's what, you know what I mean, but I love the talks about pushing peace, man. Shout out to uh, No Jumper, man. You know what I mean? They talk about making peace, man. And just by talking about it, you can't just dismiss it and say, yeah, 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 whatever, man. That's crazy. That'll never happen. You know, the weak mind is going to do that, but the real ones that really want that covenant of peace, <laughs> that King David, you know, <laughs> Ezekiel 37, two states coming together, coming into peace. And we really feel when a con like this gets taken out because a guy like Espon can do it, right? A guy like Lil Sony, rest in peace, can do it. A guy like Nipsey Hussle, rest in peace, can do it. Damn, that's a neighborhood 6 so neighborhood 40. That's an A-Tray. And they all gone. They all gone. Recently, you know what I'm saying? So it seems like whoever or in these positions or respected like this, whatever reason, man, we keep, we keep taking these losses, man. But we're talking about how our Nagas got natural love for each other, man. Let's go. Kids don't even know they, uh, my dad's dad's dad. Hmm. Like, that's, that's not cool, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, it's just messed up, man, because it's been since the beginning of time we've been bamboozled and shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They, they, they been messed up. And imagine how powerful it is to know your dad's dad's dad, to be able to, you know, at least know who it is, who it was, you know, right? So that we can connect to that frequency. But if you disconnect us from our ancestors, our recent ancestors, fathers and mothers, and we disconnect it from the creator and our cult, I'm not going to, you got the result of what you see, man. You got demon time. At least know who you are, your lineage. Would say, man, I'm, I'm bigger than this. It's bigger than that. What Jay Main say is bigger than the whoop, right? It's bigger than the whoop. It's bigger than me whooping, man. When you know your fathers and your mothers, when you know your creator, when you know your code, what's it gonna take to come together? Los Angeles, what's it gonna take to come together? Cali, what's it gonna take to come together? All my cons. You feel me? So it's just gonna be a long battle. Boots on the ground. <laughs> It's not racial. It's good versus bad. Facts. Period. Frequency. Once people figure that out, then we'll be all right as a community, different colors and all that, because it ain't about race. Uh, it's about good versus bad. Facts. You feel me? <laughs> it's about frequency, man. It's a frequency war. Black motherfucker, and he sound worse than a white person or whatever. And I'm like, this my what's wrong with this dude? Yeah. really serious in however you feel and whatever you say. Straight up. So it ain't about race. It's about good versus bad. Versus bad. One more time. Period. And once people figure that out, then we'll be all right as a community, different colors and all that. Like, Cause it ain't about race. It's about good versus bad. You feel me? It's, it could be a black motherfucker, and, and he sound worse than a white person or whatever. And I'm like, this my what's wrong with this dude? Hmm. He really serious in however you feel and whatever you say. So it ain't about race. It's about good versus bad. What we say all skin folk ain't kin folk, and all kin folk ain't con folk. They ain't got that priest in them. As far as the gang culture, in order for the gang culture to uh, to get right and come together, the neighborhoods and the hovers are going to have to have a sit down and have an understanding. 
That's mm. the only way the blacks in L.A. going to be cool. Period. Oh. We hold the keys to the black salvation in Los Angeles, California, South Central. The neighborhood. Woo. Y'all hear that? And somebody else might have a formula, but rest of power S bone. This is his moment. He's dropping that drop. The kind of said, in order for LA to come together, it has to start with the neighborhood car and the Hoover car, right? Obviously, you got the A Trey, you got Noggins in Compton and, and Watch, you got the Noggins in Long Beach, man, Inglewood, right? Well, this is Esbo's formula, man, and, man, we talking about pushing peace, man, and, I mean, can we do it? Monogas from the neighborhood, can we do it? Monogas from the Hoovers, can we do it? For the salvation, you know what that means? That means you saving your children. Is that get back worth more than your children and your children's children and your future, your land? Your peace, they peace? Neighborhood Crips. And the hoofs. That's that's the worst war, worst enemy, and everybody in LA got family from over in neighborhood. Mm. That's how big both of those gangs are. Right? So that's gonna be the main thing that the motherfuckers gotta come together. That's the only thing that's gonna bring everything to a head. That's it. Right. The neighborhoods and the hoofs. Because everybody else, they got control of their hood. They got control of their homes. We don't got control of ours. There's too many of us. It's too many hoofs. You feel me? So it's hard to get control of motherfuckers. 